how to make MIDI feel more human. Maybe you don't have any music experience at all and you can't play piano or guitar or whatever. Well, we're going to, we're going to make sure that your MIDI notes sound as human um, as they can possibly be. This is a song I've been working uh, on in my Logic session here. And what I want to focus on with MIDI notes are hi-hats and piano. And uh, you can be doing the same principles we're going to go through with any other instrument. I want to highlight hi-hats and piano because while well, they're two really popular ways, if you don't humanize MIDI, then they will sound really electronic. Let's start with the hi-hats. Here's my drum track at the bottom, and I am going to double click on that to bring up my MIDI notes. And I have them all at 100 velocity right now. That's this ugly brown color here and the velocity note is all set at 100. So if I solo the drum track and just take a listen to that. Everything sounds like, it's just like a marching kind of plastic man going through the street here. Um, terrible analogy. But that's what I'm thinking. We need to change the mini notes. Let's focus on the hi-hats right now. So we have a closed hi-hat here, and then we have a shaker. So how we can do that, the first way is using our velocity tool, which is at the top here. Um, you can use it the second tool, or the th you can use first tool, second tool, or third tool. First tool is by default. Second tool is um, triggered with the command key. And then the third tool is triggered with the right button on your mouse. I always have the velocity tool on this one because I'm constantly changing velocities, and I have been, with my mini notes. And so I can go right click on my mouse and just drag up and down very quickly on notes. So up, down, up, down, and you can see on the right, on the left here, things are moving. So I can go through it like that very easily, creating a dynamic. Um, let's solo this, or oh, it's already soloed. And I can be creating dynamic. Already. You know what? Let's get serious. Let's go and solo the hats. Obviously, it's being a little bit um, distracted with these shaker notes still at 100. So I'm going to mute the shakers and just focus on this hi-hat. Really, really much better already. kind of want to have a groove. So if I'm going to go hotter here, I want to kind of do it the same place in the next bar. So I might go every second hi-hat note. <coughs> Excuse me. Every second high I know I might go higher. All right. Second high I know. So second high I know higher. Second high I know higher. Second high I know higher. First high I know a bit lower. That is time consuming. So there are some other quicker ways. The next way is to use a built-in functionality in Logic, which is under um, the function tool. So we can highlight these notes and go to functions and go to MIDI transform. And here you have not only velocity, but you have pitch, all of these available options to transform your MIDI. We're just going to focus on velocity. Um, if you want all of these notes to be at a fixed velocity, you can do that. Uh, if you want um, what we're going to look into well, um, where is it? Random velocity, that's what we want. So under our hi-hats, we now can just say, all right, between uh, 105 and 986, yeah. make it random and uh, operate only. And so there it's gone and changed the colors. And it's at least still a bit robotic because you can see the colors don't vary much but it's, it's better than what it was before than it just had 100, and that was a lot quicker doing it that way. And if we want more color, we just select again and do a wider range, so uh, random velocity. So we can go, yeah, we can go all the way down to 29. 27, it maxes out, I think, so 127. Let's, that's 
pretty loud. Let's go 122. And so you can see it's already given us a lot of color. Now, the, the, the bad thing about random velocity is it's random. And so the rhythm is gonna be all over the place but at least it can give you maybe an idea of where you might want to go now with a velocity tool and change it a bit more and narrow in on things. The next way to change velocity, if you don't want to do it with the tool or the MIDI transform, and you can do it um, in another visual way by pressing this little kind of thing here, and that's going to bring up this menu at the bottom, and then we can click here and we'll go to note velocity. And this is giving us a map of what what yeah what our velocity looks like across all our MIDI notes. And to get the ones we want, we can highlight it again, so our hi-hats. And now they're all in white. And so you can see it is all over the place, right? There is not much of a pattern. And when it comes to hi-hats, we want a pattern. So let's say we want the first to be a little, um, a little bigger. So we're gonna go and do that. So I'm gonna go and start changing things now. I'm gonna bring this one up, bring this one down to around the same one, and I'm gonna bring this one up again. So you see I'm starting to build a pattern with the hi-hats, right? There's one, got lost in there. And so you can, it, this, is, this is nice because it's, it's visual. So if we solo that, now that's what this sounds like. Sorry about that guys, the um, mic was just off for the last, I don't know how many minutes, and I've had to use my camera mic. That's how I would approach using um, those velocity tools to create more dynamic in your hi-hats. Let's move on to the piano now and talk more about the quantization side to make uh, MIDI sound more human. So here I have a piano track and I've double clicked on it to bring up my editor. And you can already see, um, if I close down the velocity chain here, I've already made it more human by changing the velocity. And now I'm going to play with the quantization. And we can do this with our hi-hats too. Um, sometimes you want everything on the grid and it depends on the type of music you're making. But using quantization and playing, it with, a bit, playing with it a little bit will help it make it sound more human. Two things here. We are going to use the strength and swing sliders based on the quantization um, kind of choice you have. And so you'll notice if I'm on like a quarter note here and I've selected these notes, I can swing them a little bit to move them in their place around the grid based on a quarter note. We're telling it how strong we want it on the grid. We want it 100% there or you know we can we can move it away from the grid. Swing is actually I would only play with swing to be honest if you actually want a swing groove and play with those a bit and, and move notes a bit off the grid here and there to highlight some areas in your progression to make it sound more human. The other way to do this is you can just use your tool here and click on the notes and move them a little bit off the grid. That's, you can do that you know, no problem as well. It's just more time consuming. We can also go Command A and we can move everything off the grid a little bit by moving the strength a bit. The other way to do quantization and another way to approach this is by closing down the editor and clicking on our piano track here. We can go to the region section. So if quantization is on, let's say a quarter note again up here, we can be quantizing the track we have highlighted again. We have this, uh, this section here called Q range. So if we open up Q range and we can play with the ranges of quantization on our MIDI notes. Really all this is doing is playing with how, the, how much are the notes tied to the grid because when you use quantization, it makes you sound like a machine because humans don't play music like machines. Humans are usually not perfect and therefore the notes don't land on the grid. So that's what I mean by changing these dials to make it sound more human. Let's take a look at the humanize method in Logic. And I have my piano track here under the editor and I can go to, I can select all the notes again, or I can select some, only some notes I can select. Let's do all of them. And I can go down to functions, MIDI transform, and we already did random velocity, but there's also this other option called humanize. And we can do a um, variety of options. We have, we can do the velocity, the length, and also, um, like how the position of it. So do we want it, you know, 
10 points off the grid? Do we want it a little bit higher off the grid? Do we want it a full um, 16th note off the grid? So this is 16th, eighths, and um, quarters. And so play with these um, to make it sound more human. Don't go too drastic because if you start changing things too much, it will just sound like you're a bad player. So tweak it here and there a little bit. That's how to humanize and make your MIDI sound more human. Let me know what you think in a comment, guys. I reply to everything. Happy to help. And feel free to listen to some of my own music. Let me know what you think and hope to see you in the next video.